And without waiting for you to ask, Excellency, where would the oil producing country be importing petroleum from? This is unfortunate. Avoidable. But it's not a helpless situation. What we are doing today is to start what the Potapot and World Refinery is. First, starting the Potapot Refinery, we are very, very sure. And of course, post major very, and I do not expect this, our planning is excellent. We will start the Potapot Refinery in December. And, and definitely the World Refinery in the first quarter, but we cannot say the same thing about Kaduna. Our plan is to start it by the end of 2020. And this perhaps will be complemented, or we will complement the expected startup of a number of small scale refineries that, yes, will add, add value, but clearly perhaps not cover the gap that we are seeing in supply. And with the startup of the Dunkerton refinery, we know that in 2024, and we are very convinced with all the planning that is on ground, that this country will definitely will be a net exporter of petroleum products in 2024. I, I am very excited with the with the narration that you just gave to us. It's part of the Renew Hope. Nigerians want to hear good news. And then you came with a lot of them. I'm sure a lot of headlines have been created from most of the things you were saying. And the, the smallest one that may look ordinary, but it affects the Nigerian economy, is the fact that no more fuel queues. That in the next three months or thereabout, that you have made adequate arrangement to ensure that Nigerians can drive into the fuel station and purchase their fuel or diesel and go back home without hassles and without sleeping there during this Christmas season. So we want to congratulate you for looking forward. And of course, that initiative is good.